I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the ratio, root, and comparison tests. In problem number 23, we'd like to use the root test to determine whether the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of k over k plus 1 to the 2k squared converges or diverges. All right, so we want to use the root test. And so what I'm going to do is set up a limit. And the limit I want to set up is the limit as k goes to infinity of the kth root of this sequence. So let's write in k over k plus 1 to the power 2 k squared. All right, so what I want to do to actually perform the root test is I need to find this limit. Well, one thing I can do right off the bat is I say, th see that this is raised to the 2k squared power, but I can rewrite this slightly and I think it's more understandable. Let me show you. This is the limit as k goes to infinity of the kth root of k over k plus 1 um, raised to the power 2k, all of that raised to the power k. Because if I have something to a power raised to a power, I multiply the two, so this would be 2k squared, which is exactly what I have here. So I have the kth root of something raised to the k power. And so I can cancel that kth root and that kth power, and I'm just left with the limit as k goes to infinity of k over k plus 1, k over k plus 1, raised to the power 2k. 2k. All right. So we are getting somewhere. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to be a little bit clever on this one uh, and show you a little trick you can do on something like this. When I see k over k plus 1, I say, man, it, sh it sure would be great if instead of having a k over a k plus 1, I had a k plus 1 over a k. If I had k plus 1 over k, then I could kind of simplify this thing down a little bit. Well, you can have a k plus 1 over k as long as you just flip that down to the bottom of the fraction. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to rewrite this. This is the limit as k goes to infinity of um, 1 over k plus 1 over k. That raised to the 2k power. But instead of raising this thing to the 2k power, what I want to do instead is let's raise it to the kth power and then square it. That's just the same thing I did up here uh, to get rid of these k's. I realized that when I raise something to a power, raise to a power, I multiply the powers. So this is exactly the same as I had before. Okay, let me rewrite again. I'm simplifying this down. I've got the limit as k goes to infinity of 1 over uh, k plus 1 over k can be simplified down. k plus 1 over k is k over k, which is 1, plus 1 over k, plus 1 over k. And then that whole thing is raised to the k power. Well, 1 to the k is just 1. And so it's just this guy raised to the k. And that whole quantity is still squared. All right. Now, limits can move inside and out of squares. So I can kind of ignore the square in some sense and move the limit inside. And so really, the question is, do I know the limit as k goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over k 
to the k power. And we should know that limit. That is one limit that you definitely need to know is if you have the limit as k goes to infinity of 1 plus something over k to the k, the answer to that limit is e to that something. In this case, the thing on top is a 1. And so it's e to the first. OK, so let's replace. And I get the following, that this limit is 1 over this bottom 1 plus 1 over k to the k. The limit as k goes to infinity. That's e to the first power, or just e. And then I have that quantity squared, which is 1 over e squared. Now, 1 over e squared is less than 1. And I know that if something is less, if the result of my root test is less than 1, then the series that I started with must converge. So my conclusion on this is so, the sum k going from 1 to infinity of k over k plus 1 raised to the power 2k squared converges by the root test. And we are done.